Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss the pool shark teeth pattern of CDG, which is also termed as atypical sinusoidal pattern or sawtooth pattern of CDG. The pool shark pattern of CDG is a pattern resembling the sinusoidal pattern but with a more jacked sawtooth appearance rather than smooth sine wave form. Its duration seldom exceeds 30 minutes and is characterized by normal pattern before and after. What causes pool shark pattern of CTG? By some authorities, the pool shark pattern is caused by fetal hypotension occurring secondary to acute fetomaternal hemorrhage and the conditions such as ruptured vasa previa. In other words, it is caused by fetal hypotension occurring secondary to acute fetomaternal hemorrhage and the conditions such as ruptured vasa previa. And all of you know that vasa previa means the unprotected blood vessels from umbilical cord travel across the opening of cervix. Now, along with the fetomaternal hemorrhage and vasa previa, what are the other causes of this pattern? This pattern has been described after analgesic administration to the mother and during the periods of fetal sucking and other mouth movements. What action do we need to take in case of pool shark pattern of CTG? The first step is to quickly examine the patient. Means we quickly examine the patient for any sort of vaginal bleeding in such case. The classic presentation of unexpected vasa previa in labor is the presence of painless vaginal bleeding also known as Bankisser's hemorrhage. Bankisser's hemorrhage occurs mainly when the cervix is effaced and dilated and the membranes rupture spontaneously or are ruptured artificially. As the total fetal blood volume at term is approximately 18 to 100 ml per kg, the loss of what may appear as a relatively small amount of blood can have major implications for the fetus and is rapidly fatal. Because of the speed at which fetal exsanguination can occur and high perinatal mortality rate associated with the ruptured vasa previa, delivery should not be delayed while trying to confirm the diagnosis, particularly if there is evidence that fetal well-being is compromised. In cases of the vasa previa that develop premature rupture of membranes and or labor at viable gestational ages, a caesarean section should be performed without a delay. So, emergency caesarean delivery and neonatal resuscitation, including the use of blood transfusion if required, are essential in the management of ruptured vasa previa diagnosed during the labor. Placental pathological examination should be performed to confirm the diagnosis of vasa previa, in particular when stillbirth has occurred or where there has been acute fetal compromise during delivery. Now, how to differentiate the pool shark pattern from other typical sinusoidal CTG? The typical sinusoidal pattern appear as a regular smooth undulating signal resembling a sine wave with an amplitude of 5 to 15 beats per minute and a frequency of 3 to 5 cycles per minute. This pattern lasts more than 30 minutes and coincides with the absent accelerations. The presence of sawtooth or pool shark pattern is termed as atypical sinusoidal pattern, which is a pattern resembling the sinusoidal pattern but with a more jacked sawtooth appearance rather than smooth sine wave form. Now, how to differentiate the pool shark pattern from other pseudo sinusoidal CDG? The pseudo sinusoidal pattern is a false sinusoidal pattern. While it may on outward appearance share some features of the sinusoidal pattern, it is not as smooth and is not regular. The hallmark feature of a pseudo sinusoidal trace is the appearance of some period of normal baseline variability and accelerations. On the other hand, the presence of the sawtooth or the pool shark teeth pattern is termed as atypical sinusoidal pattern, which is the pattern resembling the sinusoidal pattern, but with a more jagged sawtooth appearance rather than smooth sine wave form. So that was all about the pool shark wave pattern of the CDG. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Subscribe on Hobbs and Gyne. Allah Hafiz.